guys, it is Lisa. It is um, Wednesday the 7th of May and I'm going home soon. I just actually spoke with the doctor and he's discharged me. Um, and he said that, you know, I had received nothing but great reports from all the nurses. I actually hadn't had any pain medicine, um, either through my IV or orally since actually midnight last night. Um, and I only took five milligrams of the oxycodone, oxycodone oxycodone, whatever it is, um, and you can have up to 15 grams, so I was actually on the lower end of that spectrum. Um, so he is going to still send me home with 200 milligrams, so that's, um, if it starts really getting bad at home, just from, uh, you know, walking around a little bit more, then I could take 10 milligrams, and that's 20 doses. I don't know if I'll need it, though. I don't think I'll need it at all. Um, other than that, I'm feeling really good. I actually had a Carnation's Good Start um, protein thing they brought me this morning. And then they brought me, actually not too long ago, a fourth of a cup of low-fat vanilla yogurt. And that went down fine, so um, I haven't thrown up. I haven't, like I said, I haven't had any nauseousness since um, when I first got out of anesthesia. Actually, once I first got out of the, the surgery and I was in that, like, recovery area. That was the only time, and I was so out of it, guys. I just remember yelling, I'm gonna puke. That's all I remember. Um, and then... So yesterday I did a lot of walking, and this morning I woke up, and I actually slept pretty good last night after they gave me my pain meds. The nurse said, you know, go ahead and roll over on your left side, because that'll help you expel some of the gas. Because up until like 9 o'clock this morning, I hadn't pooped or um, farted or nothing. I've been burping a little bit, but, um, and then finally I got up and I walked around the hallways a little bit. And then I went back and I was like, oh, I think I'm going to have to, you know, do a number two. Like, I think I have diarrhea. And I went in there and it ended up just being a really wet fart. But some, you know, I did poop a little bit. I know, TMI, right? Um, so I kept, every time I felt like I needed a fart, I'd have to, like, unplug my IV, go into the bathroom, sit down and fart. Because every time it was like a wet fart and it was really gross. And my doctor said that's normal because I've had nothing in my system except for liquids for the last, you know, however long. So, um, but he was, I, oh my god, to fart was the most amazing sensation ever, ever. Um, so gas pains are really going away. I have been doing my gas X strips. Um, I've been taking two at a time, probably two or three times a day. Um, and so those have really helped. But yeah, she said, lay on your left-hand side. So last night I slept for like a good six hours on my left-hand side. And then I rolled over to my right and that helped me pass gas as well. Um, so yeah, I, I'm feeling really well. I, um, I've just been sleeping a lot, and I think when I get home, I'll sleep a lot more. So I'm looking forward to going home and seeing my babies, and, um, but you know what? I could say nothing, nothing negative about the surgery or about the staff that I've been working with. They've all been phenomenal. Um, and I'm in like a huge, let me show you the suite. It's like a huge bariatric suite. So, like, they could probably fit two queen-size beds in here, and then you could fit, like, uh, in the bathroom alone, a couch. So, um, there's the door. Um, there's the bathroom. There's my view outside. There's a couple big chairs, and then my bed. So, I mean, it's a huge, huge room, which has been really nice. Um, so what else? So, yeah, just waiting to get discharged, and I can... Oofta, yeah. Dang it, I'm not supposed to touch that thing. They gave me behind my ear, you can see it. It's a nausea patch, and it worked really well, because I had, like I said, no nausea. Um, what else? So I'm just looking forward to going home and being in my own bed. I'm not going to weigh in. I'm not going to weigh in at all until probably one week post-op. Um, but other than that, my incisions are actually really small. Um, I'll actually show them to you. There's, I have hardly any bruising. So there's one up here. And then one here. And then this is where they took my stomach out of. So that's three. And there's this one right here. And that one right there. So let's see if I can show you the hole. So not too bad. Not too bad at all. They don't hurt. Um, I, I, like I said, I just, I can't say anything negative about my experience. I'm really excited that also my sleeve is acting really well with solids um, and my taste buds haven't changed much so we'll see I've still been sipping on a lot of water 
Um, and, you know, again, the nurses have said you have met all your milestones um, that you need to meet really quickly. And the fact that I'm already so low on my pain meds is a great sign. So, um, so yeah, that's just where, where we're at. I'm excited to go home. I will talk to you guys in probably a couple days because um, I'm going to really go home and rest and catch up on some sleep because you know when you're in a hospital, you can't sleep. And not just on top of that, we're on the 10th floor, but on the first floor, they're doing a huge renovation. They're doing a new emergency room. So all I've been hearing is the jackhammer. Um, so I'm just excited to go home and just get some nice, peaceful sleep in my bed. Um, and that's about it. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.